Greetings faculty and welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. In today's lesson I'm going to be topic, talking about tables and tables in the sense of working with them on the iPad. Many of you have already maybe experienced the fact that Google Drive or Google Document tables are virtually non-existent on the iPad. Here's what happens. You build this beautiful table in a Google, in a Google document you go over to your iPad and you go to open that same document and you get something like this. Now don't worry this is not the end of the world because we know via our Google Drive app we can actually access our documents in Google Drive via other applications. Now, one application that will allow you to work with tables is Pages. Um, but in order to get to Pages, there's a few steps you need to follow. So, step one is simply to click on the three dots here on the iPad, right? And when you do that, you're presented with a window. And then what you want to do is click on Share and Export. And then you have the option to convert it as a Word document. Now I know doing it this way, it, it, it eliminates the collaborative nature of the Google document. However, if this is a, an individual lab report template, for example, um, this is per perfectly fine because you would want all of your students to have their own copies anyway. So you can go ahead and click Save as a Word document. And now you can see our, our tables are visible. But now this is actually not editable right now. We can't edit this particular document in, on, in Google Drive. So then what we need to do is we need to go back to our, our document links and notice now that I have a Word document called tables.docx available in my Google Drive. And not from the Docs menu, I'm actually going to leave the Docs application. I'm going to leave the Docs application, go to Google Drive, and locate my Word document. I know it can be confusing at times to jump back and forth between the apps, but just before, just be sure that when you want to open a document in Pages that you're doing it from the Google Drive app and not the Google Docs app. In fact, you can't do it from the Google Docs app. So when, once you're here, you can click on this little I um, next to the file. And now you're presented with uh, a menu and by clicking on Open In, you'll be given the opportunity to open this document with a table in Pages. And now it will give you a message about how it may look a little bit different on the iPad because the, the background was removed, but for this tutorial and for the purpose of, of what I wanted to do, I'm not concerned about the background, I'm concerned about the tables. As long as my tables are functional and I can input text, then I'm happy. So I'm going to click Done, except the fact that the background may not have come with it. I'm going to open it up, and now I can very easily go into each cell and type. So that about does it. This, this shows you how you can work with templates you've created in Google Documents that contain tables, which you can then share to your students who would be able to open them in pages. And if you're not convinced your students are savvy enough or perhaps don't want to waste the time um, to do that conversion, what you could do is actually before pushing out that table, you could you yourself could convert that document to a Word document 
and push out the document containing a table through a script like uh, through an add-on like Doctopus or something like that. And then the kids could simply go right to their Google Drive, open in pages, and they'd be on their way. So it's really up to you is how much of this technical piece you want your students to do. Um, but if it were me, I would likely simply convert this to a Word document before pushing it out to the students, knowing that in their Google Drive they could click Open In and begin working on it in pages. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.